Welcome back to Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Last time, we dealt a second naval defeat to the guy who really should not be fighting us anymore, but he is because, I don't know. And this time, we have three locations for this next battle, but we're gonna be going the Sammy route as always. Aye, that was a real rough spat. And yep, that's nautical pun number two. But, um, Drake, you don't, you, you, you don't deserve smooth sailing in the first game, because you're a, you are a complete dick in the first game. Ahoy there! It's time for you to test the waters. Go ahead and kill the Orange Star Army's troops a lot, and see if my theory that they're actually innocent victims in all this holds any water. Yes, yes, kill Orange Star, I must do this. <laughs> oh boy, so, Wings of Victory, Sammy. Or you can do this with Andy or Max. The Max version of Wings of Victory is kind of interesting. Uh, the funny thing is though, the Andy version of Wings of Victory is pretty much exactly the same as the Sammy version, except there's no Fog of War and Eagle has a few less units, so as always, Sammy is hard mode. Tensions run high and Fog hangs low as Sammy and Eagle face off. Or, yeah, these two. Mountains and Misunderstandings. <laughs> kind of should be the name of this mission, but uh, yeah. It is Wings of Victory. As I said, the coolest mission name in the first game, in my opinion. When I first learned that Advance Wars 1 has a mission called Wings of Victory, I was like, oh, that is awesome. I'm not really sure why it's called that, because it, it's, 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 it's just a pretty standard level, honestly, but... Oh, boy. Really? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah, we are facing once more a giant force of air units led by Eagle in Fog of War on a heavily mountainous map, perfect terrain for his air units. And I remember the speedrun actually has kind of a fun strategy for this map, because uh, there is a bomber here, it's not here in the Andy version, but there is a bomber here in the Sammy version, and uh, what the speedrun does is it gets an infantry on top of the HQ, activates double time, and then the bomber just barely does any damage to the capturing infantry, it's pretty funny. Okay, so, step one is to pretty much deal with Eagle's upper air force, but I now know the hard way. Eagle actually has two bombers protecting his HQ. He's got, like, one down here and one up here. And the one down here is going to be hard to reach because it's kind of covered by a missile and by some anti-air and stuff, so... Yeah, and also, this mission is one where the technique score is definitely, uh... It definitely can be an issue. So firstly, I'm going to scout in these mountains with some of my foot soldiers. A few of them are going to end up getting hit by bombers. But that is just sort of a thing that happens. And you're going to go into these woods here to scout forward. Once the air units arrive, I'll be able to see them even if they go in the woods. And the problem is we only have a single anti-air. And it's kind of likely to take some damage from a bomber because um, that's just sort of the way that uh, Sammy's minus 10 firepower interacts with the Eagle's boosted defense on air units. Uh, this copter is also a problem because if it gets hit by fighters then it instantly dies, but sometimes it is useful to bait out the fighters. But I need to make sure that I keep my own fighters alive because they are my biggest answer to Eagle's own fighters. I'm not like too concerned about his bombers immediately, it's mostly the fighters. If I don't get rid of them, then I cannot get a transport through to the HQ. And, uh, by the way, yeah, um, you only have one transport copter and no way to make more. So, if you lose that, you basically can't get an S-rank on this, because there's no way you get into the HQ fast enough. Okay, there's one of the fighters. Oh, I see both of them. Okay, good. I see both of them on the first turn. That is better than I expected. So, note to self, if I have to restart this, uh, put a mech on 
Like last time I put the mech where the transport copter is here, but I put the mech on this mountain here. Now, the, the downside is I don't see any of his bombers yet. So okay then. Well, there's one of his bombers. There is definitely another one in here. So... I can definitely first strike both of his... Oh, I hate the fact that when I get the first strike on his fighter, it still only does that much damage. And I don't want to give him lightning drive yet. Uh, definitely don't want to give him that yet. So, what I'm going to do here is... I potentially risk these fighters getting hit by anti-air is the problem. Now, if his fighters are, like, getting low on health... That's okay, but like, oh, the fact that they still have 6 HP even from a direct engagement with Sammy's own fighters is just... That minus 10% firepower and his boosted defense definitely plays into things. Sammy versus Eagle is not like an incredible matchup. And okay, I, there is an artillery there though. Okay. Uh, see, I, I do need to preserve this one anti-air. Sometimes I feel like I need to hit this artillery, because if I don't, then uh, it actually can be a major problem to my my land units later. Of course, I have the copter, but uh, if he has an anti-air in the vicinity, which I'm sure he does, the copter is going to die. It'd be really great to hit that with the mech, but I can't do that because I don't have my power active right now. Now, since I haven't actually hit one of his bombers yet, his power meter is looking okay at the moment. The general idea with this mission is to not let him get Lightning Drive until it's no longer a threat to you. So I can kinda try and box in these fighters a little, but it's not really gonna help a whole ton. I can sort of crowd the area with units though to make sure they end up getting trapped, which uh, definitely helps. Because I'm pretty sure in the original game, with the way that Fog of War worked, the AI would never actually get itself trapped. Uh, yeah, missile. The, the, the problem is that missile just cannot get into a decent position right now. And I do need to really preserve these um, infantry and mechs. I'm gonna have you run away. I don't really need to capture cities. Repairing my land units is not gonna be much of a much of a help to me in this point. Hmm. I mean I can put I can put Battlecopter here, I guess. And they can't hit my transport copter yet. Like surrounding a transport copter with units so that if anything tries to approach it, it gets trapped. That is a um, as I've said many times so far, a valuable strategy. I don't like the fact that both of his fighters are on 6 HP though. I kind of like to hit one of them um, with both of mine at once and really reduce it to like almost nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I, uh, I'm, I'm somewhat okay with only one of my fighters getting hit. Because yeah, Eagle still comes out on top even though I made the first strike here. But at least only one of my fighters is affected. Welp, okay, thanks to the forest here, I'm pretty sure this APC won't die. It did, because it's eagle, yeah. Okay, that's, that's, I've lost one unit already. And yeah, he has some mechs there. The mechs are positioned in those mountains, mainly so that if you try and make a push for the HQ uh, early, then the mechs happen to be like right here when you do that, and they're in position to intercept your, your uh, foot soldier that's trying to trying to do things, so, um, here is the question. Do I, do I activate my power now? Because I think I actually need the anti-air to attack a bomber rather than a fighter, so, like, I can only get that fighter, huh, I mean, I can rush in with the mechs, but then the mechs are probably going to die, because he definitely has anti-air and a medium tank down there, and he's getting lightning drive, and you really can't afford to throw away units in this map. You don't really have a lot of them. But... I am slightly nervous at this... Oh, there's just... There's not a lot that's in range, is the thing, and I may actually need double time later. So... Although I may regret this, I'm not going to go for lightning drive... I wish I could go for Lightning Drive. I'm not going to go for Double Time just yet. So yeah, I... Uh, 
Like, I, I have to hit his bothers this turn, because otherwise Lightning Drive is going to really suck. I need to damage these bombers. I do want that Fighter gone, though. But, but again, I really, really, really do need to damage these bombers right now. So I need to damage them enough to blunt the Lightning Drive when it comes. So... Uh, I don't like that I'm doing this with my anti-air, but I will, because that's going to be a threat to my own fighters and stuff. Oh, that bomber is barely damaged, which means it's going to kind of devastate me during the lightning drive that's coming. But I may be able to form, like, a wall and make sure that if the bombers try to get in gets to my units, they end up getting themselves trapped. So, like... Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually use this medium tank as a wall here. Oh, there's the transwall helper. His fighters are down, though. So that is one thing that will help. Of course, I, I lost my APC, though, which is incredibly unfortunate. Do I want to go all the way through here just yet? Because I know he has some anti-air and uh, some medium tanks waiting down there. And if the recon goes there, it's probably dead. I, I kind of need to keep it back. So yeah, just like the first Eagle uh, Eagle versus Sammy mission, which doesn't actually have to be Eagle versus Sammy, it's uh, typically not, but uh, just like that one, I'm going to be... Uh, yeah, a little bit defensive right now, I think. Okay, I still see this bomber. And this bomber is just gonna... Because there are anti-air down here. So I'll need... I may need this bomber later on. Just move you back so I can at least get a little bit of vision. There aren't any more fighters. I will probably eventually need this mech. Like, I do kind of want to jump through the mountains and hit some things with the mechs. The transport copter must survive, though. Yeah, I'm basically putting a wall here so that when he tries to lightning drive me, there's a decent chance that he'll end up just trapping all of his units and uh, they're not going to be as big of a thing. If anything, the Fog of War is a bit of a blessing on this map. Oh, right, artillery's there. Oh, okay, that's a tank. That's not a... I was afraid that was an anti-air for a second. This is still not good, especially since this tank will get to hit me again. But it's better than if that was an anti-air. Yeah, he has a lot of tanks in the middle. There, There's the anti-air, so it's around the middle somewhere. Uh-oh. That's the healthier bomber, isn't it? Yo, that's an 8 HP bomber. Yeah, these guys are dead. Do you kind of like the zoom in we get here, but... Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, this is the other bomber. Yeah, he does kind of have a unit order just like Kanbei. Okay. Sammy, I didn't want to have to do this. And it's time to hear the epic heavy metal music, as much as I don't like it because uh, I don't like fighting Eagle. But yeah, what is it with heavy metal music representing thunderstorms in media? It's kind of a common trend I've noticed. Well, that was a pain. Does do a little bit less though. This is hopefully not going to die. Oh, just barely. But it is just kind of a thing that uh, is often done in, in a lot of media, that uh, heavy metal music represents thunderstorms. Oh, uh, do I double time right now or do I not? Is the thing. I've lost two units already. I can't afford to lose more than four. This is why this map is actually a huge pain. Uh, but now that he's in the punish phase, I can take out one of his bombers with my missile. I do not like his anti-air though, although I can one-shot the anti-air with my own stuff. Oh, and then speaking of things I do not like though, this, these forests are a huge pain. But I, okay. Or I could do that, 
It's kind of giving out the mech, though. And that means I only have, like, infantry left. So now I really wish that I had Lightning Drive. This tank can't really do much of anything. Yeah, those things are very resilient against, um, against Battlecopters. Uh... Okay. That doesn't even kill you. Oh, I do have the anti-air, though, but I don't want the anti-air to be right above that tank. And there are still artillery in the area as well. Uh, that thing's closer to me, though. I kind of need to hit it. Alright, okay, good. This rocket can shoot one thing. It may as well do that. Gets this tank down to two. Okay, right now, I know there's a missile right there. So, one, two, three. Five. Okay, if I go here, I don't think the missile will be able to hit me. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to scout out Eagle's other bomber. It's actually right in the corner, so I, I still can't see it, but... Okay, I, I hit this. That's done. Oh, uh, there's an anti there, though. Kind of have to finish off this bomber. And I, do, I don't like striking first with Bomber versus Anti-Air, but I am going to take less Counterfire given that he's using Lightning Drive at the moment. That is one other uh, downside of Lightning Drive, is that is that it also means that your, um, that Eagle's units will deal less counter-attack damage to you. So it took a little bit of Counterfire there. Once his Anti-Airs are down, my Bomber has basically free reign in the center. Okay, I suppose I can do... Okay, artillery can't get me there. Sort of need to kill off, um, or at least heavily damage the tank, though. Why? Oh, misclick! I thought that was the copter. The battle copter, I mean. Ha. Uh... Okay. I damage this. If the transport copter ends up dying, that's going to be very bad for me. This medium tank's pretty much useless right now, but it wouldn't have really been able to go through the forest much anyway. Only day four, and things have already got pretty ridiculous. Oh, there was an artillery down there. Oh, right, no, it was the artillery that was already there. Uh, he's gonna attack with the anti-air, isn't he? No, he's gonna attack with another tank, but it's a... Okay. 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 I know that he still has a medium tank down there, and that's what worries me a lot. I don't think I can afford to lose anything else, though. So, this is uh, a pretty awful situation. Okay, you scout down there. Oh, it's on a mountain, yeah. Generally, you don't want to do that with an anti-air against something on a mountain. And I guess this rocket can slowly creep forward. Okay, you can get in the transport copter and start making your way over here, I guess. Nothing short of a fighter will be able to reach it there. Okay. I do not like that artillery, though. Because I feel like there was actually something there. Hmm. Maybe it's best if my bomber hits this guy. Yeah, I hope that that would be a kill, and now I can try and get that artillery. Because there's a weakened anti-air down there. Ugh. And a weakened artillery down there, too, apparently. Uh. Ugh. Yeah, this is the thing about Fog of War that really sucks. Especially when you've got this many forests out here. Uh, 
I really don't like that fresh thing getting being able to attack. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do this just so that my uh, anti-air's flank is covered from the mech, because I really don't want it to get hit by the mech. Okay. Yeah, since I know where that bomber is already, I'm gonna cheat and do that, and then I can go all the way and actually hit this bomber, because fighters are ridiculous in terms of mobility. And then they actually have to sweep down here and try and damage the other bomber, but they've got to be careful, because there is a missile right here. Uh, he's a little uh, uh, of a distance towards getting his next power, but that's okay. Yeah, thankfully this anti has already been a little weakened, but I don't like that it struck my bomber first. Five. Bombers can be bulky sometimes. They kind of should be when they cost this much. Uh, that's yeah, this that's this artillery. And then that artillery attacks me here. I don't like that there's a medium tank close to me though. And a lot of my units over here are weakened, and I can't really afford to lose much else. Uh, uh. Yeah, this rocket is not really going to get get anywhere productive right now, so it can kill off that. I sort of need my bomber to, well, bomb that medium tank, because otherwise, uh, otherwise there's going to be issues. You hit this bomber. Bobber is down, and now this fighter can go down and actually no it can't. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this missile right here. I kind of need to be like here in order for the missile to not kill me. So okay, my plan now is... I don't want him to have an anti-air in this general vicinity, though he may have charged it forward. So I can go there and definitively scout the missile, or I can go there and like be probably safe from the missile. I'm gonna go here. This could backfire, but yeah, there's the missile. Doesn't mean he sees this fighter, though. Uh, here is the problem, though. Actually, no, Battlecopter versus Medium Tank is not horrible, especially since there are no anti-air in the vicinity anymore, that I know of. Uh, but at the same time, like, okay then. At this point, it may actually be worth it just to retreat in this lower area. Now, I really hope this doesn't end up backfiring, but... Here's my, here's my logic. My logic is that, um, that most of the units in this general vicinity aren't really going to be a threat to what I'm trying to do with the HQ at the moment. So, and I've already got the perfect power score, so there's no reason to risk my lives down here anymore. Uh, so if I just retreat with everything that I can and just hope that, you know, he doesn't kill much of it, then... I don't risk losing more units for technique. Like, no reason to risk these units right now. Although, I see what his plan is. He sees the transport copter now. That's a thing. So if there's a bomber down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's like here. Because I know that it is, is actually in range of the HQ. Ah, uh, unless I can load the unit there, then he can't see it, and I can still go for the HQ next turn, and the transport hopefully doesn't doesn't die, unless he has like a tank in this area. So yeah, here is my plan. I'm gonna run away uh, like a scaredy cat. Uh oh. Okay, that's only the three HP artillery. The medium ah, tank is down there. Okay, that recon's probably dead. Okay, so that's four lost. I don't know if that's ruined my technique ranking. It maybe has, but I guess we'll find out. Because now it's time for Operation Operation Unbreakable Capturer. Now it's my turn. This is actually kind of what speedruns do. They start capturing the HQ and activate double time, and then count on the increased defense to save, uh, to make sure the capture is secure. The problem is... that what the speedrun also does is it distracts the rest of Eagle's army by putting, like, a whole bunch of units down here and just letting them all die. I actually tried looking at speedruns to see if, like, that would help me get in the S ranks on these maps, but it turned out that, let's just say, 
the most speedruns don't really care about the technique ranking. <laughs> They really, really don't. They basically just, just throw a whole bunch of units just into the meat grinder and just let them all die. And, um, I mean, it's kind of why I like the technique ranking, especially in Advance Wars 1, where the amount of units that you can build is very limited. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, actually, no, if I go here, as long as the bomber's not here, because I don't want to get the fighter trapped and then have the missile shoot it, because I can't cover the infantry here from the bomber without the the missile killing my fighter. Also, oh yeah, you gotta be careful of that power meter too. Run away and never return. Um, you know what? I don't think he has any anti-air in the area, so I can actually use this bomber as a wall. And you go back. You go here. Oh yeah, the missile's vision is at least useful. Yeah, so now my question is whether or not I try and, uh, try and scout the bomber. I mean, okay, whether or not I scout the bomber, I still, uh, I still can't stop the bomber from hitting the infantry this turn. So basically I just need to pray that I don't get reduced below 3 HP. And I don't want to risk anything to getting shot by missiles, so yeah, Copter goes all the way back up here, because those low HP mechs might still kill it. Okay. No, oh, mechs didn't even try and attack me. Yep, there's the bomber! And here's where double time really comes in handy, because these are going to be the most tenacious infantry ever, or at least they have the hardest hard hats ever. 5 HP is fine. I have that captured down now. The question is whether or not I got the technique ranking. It's no more than 20%, but that's for 100. I still might get, like, I, I like to get perfect technique where I can, though. But yeah, I, this, I don't like this missile. It's been a thorn in my side for too long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill it. And, and oh, oh, actually, wait, no, I've already scouted the bomber. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you scout the bomber now, but... <laughs> Of course, I don't even, I don't, uh, need to because it's, it's here. But yeah, in general, like, don't, like, one of the key takeaways is don't commit more to the central front than, than you need to. Because once you've got the perfect power score, once you've staved off an Eagle's initial air assault, you don't actually need to risk the lives of your units in the center any longer. So, retreating is good. And now, let's go ahead and finish this off. Like, all right, Eagle, start talking now. Hmm. I did what now? And so we finally know why Eagle has been fighting us for so long. Is this some kind of twisted joke? What's an airport again? He's Dimitri. Uh. And then it turns out <laughs> that the entire solution to this whole drama <laughs> is that... <laughs> hmm, you may be right. <laughs> His is not a face that shines with intelligence. The entire counter-argument is predicated on the fact that Andy is too dumb to pull off something like that. And they've got a point. Hmm. Oh yes, it starts with Drake, the guy who thinks that the best way to test whether or not we're innocent of this conflict is to kill us. Eagle's not such a bad guy. Boy, is he stubborn. Okay, 95 on technique. Less bad than I expected, but, uh, still. That map can be pretty rough, uh, but, again, don't risk more than you can handle. 
once the initial air assault is gone, you can safely pull back as long as you get something to the HQ. Next time, Eagle is going to confide in Drake on what to do next. And it's Drake. This isn't going to end well. But what might end well is the fact that next time, I'm going to try and do a speedrun strat for the next map and see if it still works. Because if it still works, it's going to be absolutely hilarious. I had a feeling that we would unlock Eagle out of this. Oh, he's actually the Commander-in-Chief of Breeder, if that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that because, as I've said many times, Eagle is my favourite character to play as.